So are we ready now to introduce our special guest? Let's do it. Hank and Carrie, the special guest for February 16th is a Kurdish military leader from the Middle Ages who was defeated by Richard the Lionhearted during the Third Crusades for Jerusalem. Here from Damascus in Salim Adun Youssef Anab Ayyib, also known as Saladin. <laughs> I could, I could, listen, I could listen to the whole song. <laughs> As the muzzin was a stand-in. Have a seat there, Mr. Dean. Hank, I must say I enjoy your show. Your Christian friends are very nice. You know, Carrie, I have one wife. I have room for three more. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> Except your refusal, I'm... my little frosted date. <laughs> now, now, now! This is a this is a family show. That's right. This is a hey. You're finally getting it. <laughs> y- yes, uh, Mr. Salad. Um, I under- I know that your introduction alluded to your loss uh, to uh, to Richard the Lionhearted in eleven something, and uh, that's probably a little unfair. So, so why don't you tell us a little about your accomplishments? Well, I founded the Ayyubid dynasty in Syria. Oh, you did that? That's really cool. Thank you. You're welcome. What's an Ayubid? <laughs> <laughs> you American what? women are so hysterical. <laughs> well, well, Gary, to put it in a better context, I understand that that uh, uh, Mr. Saladin here did did quite a bit to build schools and infrastructure, and um, that uh, you were able to unite the varying sects of the Islamic faith, and that you were a, a, a Sufi, which uh, I understand means that you were among those of the Islamic faith to attain a higher level of spirituality. Yes. This is why you can taunt me all day long, and my beard shall hardly quiver. <laughs> right. can, can I insult you? Oh, uh, no. no you <laughs> but you just said. <laughs> oh, dude. He's carrying a scimitar. So. Uh, got it. Uh, yeah, the, 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 the Franks during the Crusades uh, held you in high regard, and uh, I've read quite about, a bit about you, and, and you went well out of your way to make peace with the Crusaders. And I heard that you were also a smart guy, so maybe you can beat me at Only Jerks Hate History. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, now we present Only Jerks Hate History. Who said that? Is that a woman's voice? It's completely enchanting. It's not really a game show about nothing, but more so a contest about something. You might win knowledge, you might even earn entertainment value. I'm usually not a betting man, but I will give you 30 dinars if you are victorious in today's contest. Hey, Hank, that's pretty good, since you haven't had your dinar yet. <laughs> I could use a good dinar. There you go. Now, Mr. Mr. Din, uh, where did you get that neato weedo pointy hat? This old thing? Oh, I picked it up in Alexandria. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, let's start the music then. <laughs> All righty. So this week's theme is very early exploration of the United States. Okay. So probably a little further back than the 200 years that our country's been around, give or take a few. Okay. All right. All right. Question number one. The idea that the earth was round was an original thought of Columbus. Is this true or false? Mr. Dean? True. True. Uh, the original concept is it was from Columbus. The idea that the Earth was round was an original thought of Columbus. That is false. True. Okay, false. And y'all are correct. Uh, the ancient Greeks knew that the Earth was spherical, and this knowledge was commonplace among scholars in the Middle Ages. Yes, yes. A fellow by the name of Aristophanes knees. Um, Aristophanes sneeze. Yeah, Arist, 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 I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah. He actually, he actually in. calculated the circumference of the Earth. Really? Yeah. Was very, he close? Yes, he was within a hundred miles. Are you kidding? No, that is cool. How do you figure that out? Just triangulation or mirrors? Mirrors. <laughs> the answer to everything is mirrors. <laughs> All righty. Number two. All, all done with mirrors. All done. <laughs> Who was the first European explorer to discover North America? Was it Eric the Red, Leif Erikson, Christopher Columbus, or Geoffrey Chaucer? Columbus. 
Um, it was one of the first two. Eric the Red or Leif Erikson? Oh, I know. Whichever one I pick is going to be the wrong one. <laughs> no peeking. He was, a, he was a Viking. Okay. Yeah. Well, well you're a- correct on a- that. Allegedly. Allegedly. Oh, <laughs> uh, doggone it. I think... It, mm, Leif Erikson. It was Leif Erikson. Oh, oh, always go with your instincts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So er- no re- er- Eric the Red was like an actual bad guy. I oh. think I think he was like one of the you know one of your stereotypical mm-hmm. Vikings and yes. like pillaged and yes. stuff conquered. Right, er- Erickson, Erickson was a little more cerebral, I think. Oh, was he? Yeah, he actually like tried oh. tried to go places. That was that was his big deal. So he probably tried to get to North America on purpose, or say, let's go that way. Yes, I think you, that's a fair way to put it. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, next question: Where did the Spanish establish their first permanent settlement? In North America, was it St. Augustine, Miami, New Orleans, or Myrtle Beach? St. Augustine. <laughs> you sound like he, a man with blend. I know. He's, he must have some connection. Well, you know, the, the Arabs were in Spain for a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Um, St. Augustine, I'd have to concur. It is St. Augustine. Yeah. Well, you know, I think this month I really pick easy questions. Y'all have not had a whole lot of problems. <laughs> you have just been on it this, this time. Where did, you get the, where did you get these questions from? These questions came from, I think it was Fun Quizzes. Okay. I think that's where I got it. Fun Quizzes. Yes, Fun Quizzes. Okay. And so, and I'll have the, I don't remember the exact website, but I will post that in the uh, post. Yeah. If you're watching this on YouTube, it's down in the description. If you're watching this on not too late show.com, it's down in the description. If you're wa- listening to this on TFOK, you're crap out of luck. Go to not too late show.com. <laughs> All right. So final question. Okay. All right. What was the name of the first English child born in the new world? Was it Elizabeth Hayden? Haddon had H A D D E N. I guess Haddon Molly Ringwald. <laughs> Not the answers I selected. Virginia Slim. <laughs> okay. I think I picked this question for the answers. <laughs> but there is a reason why I did pick this question. Okay. Um, or was it Virginia Dare? Do I need to repeat the question again? No, <laughs> that won't be. Well, not for me. Molly Ringwald. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's pretty in pink. Yeah. Uh, the Arabs were doing other things at this time, so, you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> of course, he's going to be oblivious. Uh, but Virginia Dare. You are correct. It is Virginia Dare. Right. Um, now, a little tidbit about this, and this is the other reason why I picked this question. Virginia Dare was the first English child born in the New World. But when the supply ship returned, all they found was a vacant fort with the word Croatia. Croatoan, Croatan. Croatan, carved on a tree. Mm-hmm. The fate of the settler, settlers to this day is pure conjecture. Well, uh, I, it would have to be because they found no trace of them. Mm-hmm. Um, Vir, yeah, Virginia Dare was the, was the first uh, uh, European that, that we know of on record that was born uh, in, in, in the New World. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were on... Uh, an island, I think it was, well, it was Roanoke Island, which is off of, off coast of uh, of uh, North Carolina, and it's uh, it, it's actually it actually precedes Jamestown. Oh wow! Which which, which it was just like 1585, and which, yeah. which is amazing to me because we always we're always taught that Jamestown was the first attempted settlement. Right, right. right. Well, there was an attempted settlement uh, in on Roanoke Island. But they were not successful. Uh, well, apparently not. <laughs> um, and actually, the girl, I cannot remember if Virginia Dare was actually captured, if there was some record that she was captured and taken. Mm-hmm. Uh, what happened was the, and it, this is interesting, there was an, an Indian by the name of Mosanto or something like that, mm-hmm. uh, who was a Croatan. And okay, he, for, it, what it, is a Croatan? It's it's just an Indian tribe. Oh, okay, okay. It's an Indian Indian nation or Indian tribe. Um, that just a you know a specific category of of, of Indian, mm-hmm. and because um, you know they 
they were all in different different tribes. I mean, there's yeah. a lot of intertribal wars, a lot and of stuff different like pockets. That. Mm-hmm. So, um, th- this Monsanto guy was um, uh, uh, he he actually uh, got baptized, and then a week later, Virginia Dare was baptized, and there were Indians who were witnesses to this baptism. Okay. So um, now I don't remember what happened. I don't remember whether she was just assumed that she was captured when that boat came back, or whether mm-hmm. she was captured ahead of time, and, there, and then that was documented. But yes, that is correct. They came back, and the only evidence was that the the word Croatan was right. carved into a tree. So it's assumed that the Croatans captured all of them. And so basically, when when the supply ship was there, there was a family there. When they left and they came back, they were gone. They were gone. Yeah. And so there's really no. Well, it was yeah, it wasn't a family. I mean, it was a settlement. It was probably you know thirty thirty or forty thirty forty fifty pe- people. Okay. And uh, and they were all and no trace all, of where all, they went. All kaput. Yep. Yep. Wow. Yeah. And it, and it's it, you know it, it, it's that's why I think it's essential to to break down mm-hmm. the these tribal names because there were some tribes that were very friendly right there were and then there were other tribes that were du- totally duplicitous mm-hmm. and you know uh, this is probably one of those cases where it's like did we only we only had we we could only we were in a position I say we the English were only in such a position to trade only certain things in exchange for food. Right. You know, the, the, the English people were on the defensive. You know, they had to learn how to, you know, they had to learn how to fend, fend for themselves. And, and the only way they could do that was from the Indians. So right. that, so what they, they had to offer in return was, you know, not, 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 not yeah. much. So I think the Indians either got sick of that or there was enough intertribal Jealousies and things like that. That, that they took things in around. Yeah. Yep. What do you think about this, Mr. Dean? Fabulous. <laughs> there you go. The man's got it. <laughs> yeah, like like I say, they were doing other things. The Arabs were doing other things. Yeah. Uh, so so uh, you were and then uh, now tell me again, sir, what what about what year do you come from? Uh twelve hundred. The twelve hundred okay, so you predate what was going on here. You probably weren't even aware. <laughs> So, like I said, you had your own thing going on. <laughs> All righty. They sure knew, sure knew about wars, though, I tell you. But a very good show. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you. 